All right, my name is Randy Hanner, and I've been an Umqua Signature Fly Designer since 2013. Um, I've got a few flies in the catalog. Most of my stuff's um, competition inspired. Um, I was a former team member of Fly Fishing Team USA. I was a member from 2009 to 2013. And a lot of this stuff that I'm gonna be tying today um, stems from my competition days. And the fly we're gonna start out with is my Jigged Green Drake. It was my first submission into the Umqua catalog. And um, the story behind it, it was in a competition on the, the frying pan and so I needed an anchor fly to hold down some of my smaller nymphs. And while we were competing, it was super, super windy. And so we just needed something heavy that would, that would hold our leader in the water. And this fly stemmed from that. And so it ended up catching me quite a few fish. Uh, for the time, it was a, a rec Team USA record with 55 fish caught in one three hour session. Um, and uh, that year it was just fantastic. So. I'm going to start with a size, this is a size 12 um, Tamco 403 BLJ with a 3.5 millimeter bead on it. And then for the tail, we're going to use Coq de Leon. And the thread, you can just use any olive uh, thread that you want. I'm using um, Danville's uh, 70 denier um, flat Flymaster 6 aught. So... Just take off a bunch of these fibers here, start my thread. I like to tie my tails a lot shorter, so I'll go, only go about half of the body length. I don't want to make this fly any bigger than it needs to be. And adding tail length really makes the fly, it gives it a much larger profile in the water. And that's, I don't want that. So we'll shorten it up just a little bit. Next, I'll tie in my rib, just some small uh, ultra wire. And then I'll just try to taper up the body just a little bit towards the bead. I don't add any lead weight behind the bead. You can if you want, but this is a pretty slim profile fly and it'll get down pretty quick. Next, I'm gonna use the, the, the dubbing that I use is Arizona Synthetic Peacock, um, just in the natural peacock color. So I'll just add a little bit in here. And I'm actually gonna take this all the way up to right behind the bead. It helps build up the thorax and the abdomen. And then what I'm gonna do is rib up all the way behind the bead. I'll do a half hitch in my wire, that way I don't mess up my scissors. And it just breaks right off. Next for the, the wing case, I use um, Hairline's Diamond Braid um, in the bronze color. And I'll just tie that in right behind the bead. And then I'll go back down about halfway, because if you've ever looked at green drake nymphs, they are short, stout, beefy nymphs, and their thorax is actually quite large. So I'll add a lot more dubbing behind the bead here, just to build up that thorax. And then just fold it right over. A couple wraps in front and then I'll cut it off. I'm gonna do a whip finish here. Just to lock that in, but I'm actually gonna cover all of that up with just a little bit more dubbing just to hide those 
fibers from the flat braid. Trim it down just a touch. The more fish you catch, the buggier it gets and the fishier it gets. But that is my green drake, just really a simple, simple fly.